Hi, welcome to this Corporate Maths primary video on order and fractions. In this video, we're going to look at how to put fractions in order. So let's have a look at our first question. The question says, write these fractions in order, starting with the smallest. So we've got two fifths, three fifths, and one fifth. Now to put those in order, we just need to think what's the smallest fraction, what's the largest one. So clearly, one fifth would be the smallest, then two fifths, and then three fifths would be the largest. That was quite an easy question. The reason it was easy was because we were comparing fractions which were all fifths. In other words, they all had the same number on the bottom of the fraction or the same denominator. Now what we're going to do is we're going to look at what a typical question would look like in an exam where the, they wouldn't all have necessarily the same denominator or the same number on the bottom. They will have different numbers. So here's another question. It says write these fractions in order, starting with the smallest. Now as you can see, we've got five eighths, one half and three quarters. Now to make this question a lot easier, it would be much easier if they had the same number on the bottom of the fraction. Now if you need to recap equivalent fractions, go to corporatemathsprimary.com and watch the video on equivalent fractions now. Okay, so if we've got five eighths, one half and three quarters, we want to find the same or want to get the same number on the bottom of each of those fractions. Now the logical choice would be uh, eighths. Okay, the reason is if we can look at the bottom numbers, eight, two and four, we've got eight, two and four. Well, the eight times tables go eight, 16 and so on. The two times tables go two, four, six, eight and so on. And the four times tables go four, eight and so on. As you can see, eight is the first number in all of their times tables. It's called the lowest common denominator. So it's the first number in all of the times tables. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go for that. So five eighths is quite nice because it's already in eighths. And to get from a half to eighths, let's have a look at that. A half, we want to get an eight on the bottom of that fraction. As you can see, we've times the bottom numbers by four there. So we're going to times the top number, the numerator, by four, and that will give us one times four is equal to four. So one half is the same as four eighths. And finally, three quarters. Well, if we had three quarters and we want that to be eighths, well, we would just double the bottom number. So we're going to double or double the, uh, the denominator. We're now going to double the numerator, so times by two. And three times by two is six. So three quarters is the same as six eighths. And now we can put them in order quite easily. Well, it's going to be four eighths. Um, I'm going to write the one half that we started with. Okay, so four eighths would be the smallest, which is a half. The next smallest would be our five eighths that one and then our biggest one is the six eighths but that's three quarters so I'm going to write that as three quarters so in order it would be one half five eighths and three quarters so to put fractions in order get the same uh, denominator the same number in all of the fractions and then just put them in order okay let's have a look at another one so in this question we've been asked to range in order from smallest to largest three tenths two fifths and one quarter so to do that we're going to look at the numbers on the bottom of each of the fractions the ten the five and the four and we want to find the first common multiple of ten five and four so the multiples of ten are ten 20, 30, and so on. The multiples of five are five, 10, 15, 20, and so on. And the multiples of four are four, eight, 12, 16, 20. So as you can see, 20 is the first number in each of their lists. So 20 is the lowest common multiple of 10, five, and four. So we're gonna make all the fractions have a denominator of 20. So let's start off with three tenths. Three tenths, if we want that to have a denominator or find the equivalent fraction for 20 on the bottom, we would times the bottom number 10 by two to get to 20. So that means we'd have to times the top number by two and three times two is six. So three tenths is the same as six twentieths. So I suppose we could just double both of those numbers. So six twentieths. Okay, two fifths. So two fifths has got a five on the denominator. So to get to 20, we would multiply by four. So we're gonna to have to multiply the two by four also. So that would be eight twentieths. So two fifths is the same as eight twentieths. And finally, one quarter, well one quarter, to get the equivalent fraction with 20 on the denominator, we would times the four by five to get to 20. So if one times five is equal to five. So that's the same as five twentieths. So three tenths is six twentieths, two fifths is eight twentieths, and one quarter is five twentieths. So putting those in order, you can see clearly that five twentieths is the smallest, so that's one quarter, so one quarter is the smallest. The next smallest would be the six twentieths, which is three tenths, and the largest is the eight twentieths, which is two fifths, and that's it. 
So to put fractions in order, just find the equivalent fractions which have the same uh, denominator for each of the numbers and then just put them in order from smallest to largest or largest to smallest.